I'm down at the Lockett's Boxing Gym. I'm here now with welterweight Lewis Reese. How's it going, Lou? Yeah, not bad. Uh, last time we caught up, Lou, he was meant to be fighting, I think, on the uh, 10th of December. That's now changed. You're fighting on the... 13th of December. Yeah. Yeah, and that's on the... Uh, Box Nation show, yeah? Yeah, it's a Box Nation show up in Sheffield on the 13th. Um, I don't know what happened with the fights. I, I don't know the ins and outs of all the politics and stuff, but I'm not on the, obviously on the 10th, I'm on the 13th. Um, I've got a few people coming up to watch me, which I'd just like to thank because they haven't had a lot of notice. Uh, you know, I pretty much filled the 50 seat day. I got a handful of tickets left if anyone wants to jump on last minute. Um, that's about it, really. And uh, do you know who your opponent is now? Uh, it's a guy called William Warburton. He's um, a bit of a, like a, a, a journeyman, but he's a bit of a nightmare. I can't take him lightly. Um, I've seen him giving good boys pro uh, problems. I've seen him beating good boys. So I can't just go in there expecting to have an easy night. It's not, it's not going to be an easy night. Then it's going to go in there and um, try and use my skills and yeah. look good. I know what Dale and Tony Dixon have both boxed him. How did, how did Dale do with him? Yeah, and I know uh, Dale smashed him for the first couple of rounds. Uh, it looked really good, but he's the type of fighter you, you will never put away. You'll stay, you, you'll stay in front of you, and he, and he gives Dale a few problems later on, um, just because he's that type of fighter. He's tough and durable, and he'll just push on and give him nightmares. I, I didn't watch Tony Dixon fight him, so I'm not sure about. It. Yeah. Uh, when when you last box, what weight was you at? Light welt, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I made ten stone dead. Uh, which absolutely crippled me. Um, it was the first time I made 10 stone in five years, maybe more. Um, and it really told in the fight, like, uh, I, I, within a round, I was knacking that eight round fight to go in front of me. So that really was a major factor in it. So back up to Walton now for this fight. Are you more comfy at this weight now? Yeah, I'm, comf I'm comfortable. I'm pretty much, I'm not far off it right now. Like. Um, I make welter no problem. I'd be nice and strong. I know welterweight's a tougher division than light welter. Well, in people's opinions, anyway. But as long as I'm strong, I'm confident. I know I can compete at the top level. Like yeah. And uh, training and preparation. You always have been going. Yeah, it's been good. I've trained. I've trained hard. We've been in the gym with Alex, and obviously with Liam up until he had his fight uh, the other day, which he did amazing. Done really well. Um, but yeah, we've had a good camp, and I've really enjoyed it. Yeah. How many rounds of sparring do you think you've put in for this? I, d I don't even know. I've done rounds with Alex, Liam, Zach, countless uh, rounds, uh, yeah. good few rounds. So you're feeling good and confident going into this fight? Yeah, I, I am feeling confident. Just just for the fact I've moved up to Welter again. Um, I'm not going to be weight drained. I'm just going to be nice and strong in the ring and that's the main thing for me. Like. And how many rounds is it? It's a si only a six round fight. I've done eight rounds as three times in the past. So I'm confident I'm doing six rounds, I just don't want to go in and uh, look bad. Yeah. Prediction for the fight, do you have any predictions? Just a point train, I'll never go, I'll never try and look for the stoppage. If I catch him, I, I know my temperament, the type of boy I am, I'll try, I'll try and blast him out. But I, as, as my career's going on, I'm getting more um, educated in the sport, I'm trying to calm myself down a bit, like, and, yeah. and try and go distance. Uh, I know you just said you got a handful of tickets left. If people want to get hold of the tickets, how can they do so? Um, just get hold of me on Facebook. I'm on Twitter as well, but I forgot my password. <laughs> I just can't get back on it. Yeah. Uh, but get hold of me on uh, on Facebook, and I got tickets left. If people want Is to. Is it a coach on. or anything going up? Or they got yeah, I, I got a coach as well. If they get in contact with me, I give them all the details. There's room on the coach as well. Um, I got a 50 seat and I got 50 tickets, so yeah. the handful is, uh, I haven't sold yet. Room on the bus for them. I'm up in Sheffield on the Box Nation show, yeah? Yeah. Do you know who's the headline of that card? To be honest, I haven't looked into it. Um, my father looked into it the other day and he told me. Uh, straight off the top of my head, I forgot already. Yeah. <laughs> and before we go, is there anyone you'd like to thank? Um, obviously, I'd like to, a major thanks to my mother and father. Well, them. Uh, my life wouldn't, you know, be half as easy as what, what it is. And I obviously got sponsors, um, Triple Crown Garage, who sponsored me. They've sponsored me since I was 18, and they've been here for me all the way. I've got a, a boss in work as well who gives me time off. Uh, Brown's office plays, brilliant for me. Uh, gives me plenty of time off. And obviously AK um, supply the gym and all my supplements. And I got another um, nutritionist as well, Martin Broughton, who's yeah. helped me along the way. Um, and everything's gone well. So obviously, Gary, for everything he does, unprecedented, like what he does. But 
Thanks, bud. Well, again, Lou, well, uh, best of luck for Saturday. Uh, hopefully, we'll catch up with you soon, and I uh, appreciate your time as always. No problem, thank you very much. Cheers.